so hi all welcome back to our youtube channel and uh, we are back after a sabbatical of almost two weeks and uh, welcome to our youtube channel once again data mahadev we also have a website with the same name data mahadev.com so you can visit this website and learn about python artificial intelligence machine learning etc etc just like you can learn on our channel so before we proceed further so i would like to tell you all that uh, i had a hectic schedule in the past two weeks but that is uh, not going to uh, get repeated again i promise you all that all right so uh, we'll continue from where we left off uh, we started with numpy you can refer the previous video of numpy tutorials or we also had a live session related to numpy you can also refer that all right so we did what we basically uh, uh, learned how to basically create a matrix all right in this particular video we will do what we will start with uh, matrix multiplication matrix multiplication using excuse me dot matmal function matrix multiplication using dot matmal function so uh, we'll take what we'll basically take uh, mul as a variable and we already have two matrix matrices all right so let me rerun the entire cell once again run all all right so this is what it is giving error because it uh, the code is not completed yet all right so we'll do what we'll create np.matmal all right we have two matrices v3 and v4 v3 comma v4 all right so this basically is what this is basically your matrix multiplication all right for those of you who are not aware of what matrix multiplication is it is very basic you can google it up or if you still don't understand you can have a look at this video basically uh, matrix multiplication was basically uh, the first row all right of v3 followed by the first column of v4 the second matrix so here the first matrix is v3 the second matrix is v4 all right so 5 to 7 and 1 4 7 so 5 into 1 all right plus 2 into 4 all right plus 7 into 7 all right so this is what it is so 5 into 5 5 plus 2 into 4 8 7 into 7 is your 49 so 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 49 is equal to 62 so this is our the result of our first element of matrix all right which is basically mul 1 1 all right so which is 62 which is equivalent to 62 all right so we'll see one more example all right so let us have a look at one more example so this 402 how this 402 came into existence all right so 402 what we do is that basically it is the last it is mul 3 3 all right it is the last element of the matrix so third row third column all right so 17 21 25 and 3 6 9 all right so it will be 17 into 3 which is equivalent to 51 all right it will be uh, 15 into 6 equivalent to 90 all right 25 into 9 equivalent to 225 all right so this is what it is so it will be equivalent to what it will be equivalent to uh, 400 and 315 plus 51 so this is what it is all right it will be equivalent to 402 all right so this is what it is uh, just a second uh, let me rub this up all right let us uh, try it once again so 17 21 25 and all right, so 17 into 3 is uh, 51. All right, 21 into 6 is your 126. All right, 25 into 9 is your 225. All right, so the resultant of it will be what? So 225 plus 126 will be equal to 351 and 351 plus 51 will be equal to 402. This is 21 actually. This is 21 actually. 
all right so this is what it is if you're not clear you can basically rewind the video all right so this is what this is how matrix multiplication happens and python basically has a knack of uh, completing it within uh, multi within a millisecond all right another alternative for matmul for matmul is the dot function all right so another alternative for matmul is your dot function so np dot dot let's take mul2 all right np dot dot all right v3 comma v4 it will again give you the same output which is this the same output which matmul gave it to you all right so this is what it is this is one matrix how we multiply matrix using numpy all right thanks a lot everyone